Hello, and today we're looking at the Great Boba Fett costume in Fortnite, Chapter 3, Season 2. We're on at the moment, so uh, look at that. Great, isn't it? So, um, if you haven't already guessed, I'm a bit of a Boba Fett fan and a big fan of the Star Wars films and stuff and all the offshoots and all that malarkey. And uh, we put a video up uh, around about Christmas with the uh, Stormtrooper outfit and now we're just going to look at the Boba Fett outfit and I'm just like blown away with the uh, amount of detail they put into the costume and um, I think I just said already that I'm a big Boba Fett fan, one of my favourite characters in Star Wars. Mysterious bounty hunter, although watched the new series that they put out, the Boba Fett series, and kind of got a split opinion about the whole thing. I think the scenery is absolutely fantastic. I wasn't too sure about the storyline, and I like Boba Fett was always mysterious, and he's not a good guy, whereas in the um, series, they kind of portray him as somebody, you know, like a hero rather than a baddie. But Boba Fett, in my head, is a baddie. But again, you know, all these debates around Star Wars, everything's subjective and everybody has their own interpretations of what Star Wars is and what it isn't and all that type of thing. So that debate is going to go on forever. So we're back to the, back to the uh, Fortnite game, as you can see. Look at that. Attention to detail. Fantastic. Great suit. And uh, as always, Fortnite always comes up with some great skins for you to choose from to play the great game. So I'm a bit of an old boy and uh, a bit of a born again gamer and got into Fortnite recently. Uh, a few of my mates are into it, they're about the same age as me. And um, I play a lot with another mate and we have a co the combined age of 100 years. Another friend might be joining, so that'll be the combined year of 150 years, can you believe? And have family members that play, the kids and all that type of thing, they have some fun playing this game. So if you're not familiar with Fortnite, as you know, you can like play solo, like I'm playing solo here on this uh, video, just to um, show off and model the Boba Fett outfit. But um, you can play duos, trios, and squad games, which is groups of four. So you often play duos, trios, and uh, squad games. In fact, I played a squad game last night, which was fun. <laughs> With uh, friends and family. And, uh, yeah, so if you haven't already played Fortnite, give it a bash. Lots going on. Very creative as well. Very impressed with the creativity involved in Fortnite. Pretty amazing game and attention to detail. And graphics are great. Great, uh, smooth gameplay. And uh, very addictive. Um, I'm bloody addicted to this game. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. I should be more productive, really, so I probably spend a little bit too much time on it. I'm not very good at this game. Uh... So anyway, as you can see, we've got a bit of gameplay going there. Got a few limbs already, eliminations. And in this version, we've got the sprint. So you can see Boba Fett sprinting there. So that's a new addition to the game, introduced uh, just recently on the update. And there's also, they've taken away the building. Um, I think that's coming back shortly. So you have um, you have the function of climbing over buildings instead of the building. So whether they keep the sprint and the mantle climbing on the building's uh, function when they bring back in the building, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. So apparently the building's coming back very soon. I think even this week, apparently. So I'll have a look later. What's the date today? It's the 30th of March 2022 today. So uh, I'll have a look later and see if the building's back in operation. So they're using a the sniper there. So 
So um, if anybody else has watched the new Boba Fett series, The Book of Boba Fett, uh, let us know what you think about the series in the description below. From what I can tell, um, it seems Disney want to focus on The Mandalorian rather than Boba Fett for some reason. I think The Mandalorian is more like Boba Fett than Boba Fett, if that makes any sense, because I like the mystique and the mystery surrounding Boba Fett. And uh, in the Boba Fett series, he had his helmet off, so you see his face too much, which kind of evaporates the mystery surrounding Boba Fett. You want his helmet on, it keeps that mystery. And Boba Fett was mysterious, and like I say, he wasn't a good person, and I don't like the way they turn baddies into goodies sometimes. There's no need to turn Boba Fett into a goodie. He was too good in my eyes. You could kind of, you know, you're on his side in the film. You don't really want to be on his side. And you don't want these characters to find God and redemption and all that type of thing. They're bad to the bone. They've done bad things. I mean, obviously some characters do redeem themselves, but I don't think Boba Fett's that type of character. Again, but that's subjective. That's all in my head. But I'm pretty sure quite a few people would agree with what I'm saying there. I know some of the people that I've spoken to about the Book of Boba Fett and the character Boba Fett in the Book of Boba Fett kind of shared uh, the same opinion. But I thought I still thought it was pretty good. I mean, I love the way they recreate the scenery. You get the feel of those old films like Return of the Jedi, I mean that's my generation, you know, the original Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. And the way they recreate those landscapes and places, Tatooine and all the other locations, I think that is absolutely amazing. And they've done a pretty good job of recreating Luke Skywalker as well in the Book of Boba Fett, although, again, the sort of storyline let it down a bit. It's, they seem to sort of portray Luke Skywalker as a bit of a bad parent. And Baby Yoda made an appearance, of course. So I thought that was a bit strange. But yeah, The Mandalorian, I enjoyed those series. Very good. But I wish they would have made more out of uh, Boba Fett. And of course, The Mandalorian came in and stole two episodes anyway, so there were seven episodes in total with the Book of Boba Fett. And two of them were taken up by The Mandalorian, so you only had really five episodes with Boba Fett in it. So we got the Obi-Wan series to look forward to, which is supposed to be coming out this year as well, so be looking forward to that. I mean, also as well, the new Star Wars stuff, they, it's, the, the, a lot of the new Star Wars films have come under heavy criticism, but I thought they were pretty good, really. A lot of people complained about the woke element, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't like this woke attitude and mentality, but I didn't think it was too bad. I thought the films were pretty good. And the series on the whole. I think my favourite new film in the Star Wars franchise is Rogue One. I thought that was exceptional. That was brilliant. That's my phone bleeping there. Anyway, so there we are, the Boba Fett costume in Fortnite. I think I get wiped out round about now. In the game. I was hoping for a win. Every time I record live, I never win. It's better to record live, like on the PS4. You can, um, well, on the Fortnite options, you've got replays. 
But uh, when you replay, you don't get the on-screen um, HUD. Is that right? Is that the word? You know, like the on-screen, um, it shows you the guns and your health and all that malarkey. There we are, I'm dead. So I left it running. I mean, this video is edited, but I left it running to see who wins. But yeah, the replay option is a bit glitchy as well. Um, and it takes away all the icons on the screen. But, so I don't win games very often. Not solo games, anyway. Meaning, out of the people I play with, I'm probably the worst player. The least skillful player. I'm a bit slow. So there we are. And a good look at the Boba Fett costume. Good costume. Let us know what your favourite costumes are as well. What your favourite films are. And things. If you want to, in the description below. And there we are. So there's the end of the game. Who's that one then? Joe Zangorth. So there we are. The Boba Fett costume and a little bit of gameplay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.